In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft ClipChamp, which is a free app in the Microsoft Store, and we are going to be doing text-to-speech on top of a video. You've got a couple different options here. Maybe you have a video that you don't like the audio in. You could mute it, and you could add text-to-speech, or you could add text-to-speech over that. In today's video, I've got an example video that has no audio at all. I want to add some audio to it in some directions. That's what we're going to be doing. So the first thing we need to do is we need to download and open Microsoft ClipChamp. When you open it, it's going to look like this. Now, mine might look, might look a little bit different than yours. At the bottom here, you're going to see previous projects that you've been working on. If you're brand new to it, you won't see any of this. The one thing we're looking for is simply create a new video. So you'll notice it says start from scratch. You can also use uh, AI as well. but we're going to just do create a new video. When you get in here, you see a lot of stuff going on. It's really not that complicated. This left hand side is going to be your editor options. And then the right hand side is going to be some additional uh, options that you've got within your editor features. What you need to start with is what video is it that you're wanting to edit. So in my case, I'm going to click on import media. And I've already got a video that we're going to be using in today's video. It's called test. And I'm going to simply open this video. Now you'll notice it really didn't do anything except throw it over here under my your media section. You can have all kinds of media in here. It doesn't mean that you're going to use it in your project though until you either click the add button to add it to your project timeline or click and drag it to put it in your timeline. So let me first start by showing you the video that we're going to be editing today. Now remember all I've done is pulled in this one video that I already had. I'm going to simply click play and you'll notice this is a really quick video. There's a couple things going on in here, but there's no audio. We're not hearing anything. So I've got a video that somebody gave me. It's showing me some steps. I want to add some audio. And instead of me overlaying it with my voice, I want to do text to speech. So it's a computer generated voice. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's first go to the beginning of the video, I always recommend finding out where you want to throw in your first piece of audio. So I'm going to click play here. It looks like the very first step that happens in this video is the cursor gets dragged to this financial account tile. So maybe I want to add some text or some speech to say click financial account. Let's go ahead and let's do that. On the left hand side, I'm going to click record and create and it's going to bring up some different options. Today's video, we're going to be doing text to speech. So if I click on text to speech, it'll bring up a text to speech editor. Now I've got a couple of different options in here. I can change the language. So maybe I'm trying to do a video and I want to just do a Spanish version of the video. We could do that here. I could do English or I could choose any other language that I want to. There's also a voice option, which is basically going to let you pick the voice you want. So let's go ahead and start by entering the text we're going to do. I'm going to put first comma, click the financial account tile. That's going to be the text that we're going to convert to speech. I can click preview. First, click the financial account tile. To hear what it sounds like as Jenny in a general voice style with a default pitch. I could also play with these to get exactly what I want. So let's do customer service and see what that sounds like. First, click the financial account tile. Sounds pretty good. Maybe I want to speed her up a little bit. First, click the financial account tile. Maybe I don't like Jenny's voice or maybe my audience would be better served with a male voice. You can go through and you can pick various different options. So let's see what Tony sounds like. First, click the financial account tile. If you want to play with the pitch, you could also do that. First, click the financial account tile. Kind of fun. Let's go ahead and let's put it at medium. Let's say we like what we've got here. Once you've got it the way you want, you're going to simply click save to media. Now it's going to throw it again in this left hand section, which is your media. So I've got my video file. Or I've got my video file and now I've got this audio file. I can either click the add button or I could simply drag it down. I'm going to just simply click add and you'll notice it threw it down here at the bottom. Now I can move this up here is my video down here is my audio. Let's click play. So I really need this to be over a little bit. You can drag it wherever you want to in your video and then you can preview it by simply playing. So let's click play. First, click the financial account tile. So you'll notice that was pretty good. If it wasn't, I could move this around 
or I could simply redo the whole thing if I didn't like the way it looked. But that looked pretty good. Let's click play. So it looks like the next thing is they move over and they click make payment. So we need to add audio for that step as well. Again, I'm going to go to record and create. I'm going to go to text to speech. The nice thing is it remembers the voice that we used last time. It knows that last time we used Tony. This was the speed. This was the pitch. So to keep it consistent, you would just keep what value you have there unless you're wanting to change the voice throughout the video. So I'm going to do next. Click make payments. I'll put on the left side. You can always preview it. Next, click make payments on the left side. And then once you're happy with it, you can do save to media. Now again, it throws it over here in my list of media options that I've created. It is not in my video though, until I go and either drag it down or I click the add button. Next, click make payments on the left side. So I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to put it where I want. So I'm going to back this up a little bit to watch the video. Looks like we need to. So you'll notice it was a little bit before this. I'm going to drag this appropriately. Now the reason I put it in another row is because you can actually do voice, multiple rows of voice. I'm going to drag this down. Oh, maybe not. There we go. So let's see what it looks like. Next, click make payments on the I still want to back it up just a little bit. And you can play with this till you get it just perfect. Next, click make payments on the left side. So that looks pretty good. The one thing I did want to also mention is you can also go over here to captions. If you wanted to put captions on the video as well, you could do that. I can go to captions and I can turn on auto captions. Let's see what it looks like. So it gives you this warning message. I'm going to go ahead and do turn on auto captions. And now let's play my video. First, click the financial account tile. Next, click make payments on the left side. And you can see it looks pretty good. If you decided you didn't want those captions, you could simply click turn off auto captions and it would remove the captions from your video. But in my case, I kind of liked it. Surprisingly, it actually caught my voice right. Sometimes the captions don't work great, but it, it captured exactly what I said. Once you're happy with your video, we're going to simply go up here to export. Now I should say you can also rename it. So you, by default, it's going to be called Untitled Video. I'm going to call this Test Video one, whatever. When you export it, that will be the default name of the export. I'm going to simply go to export. I'm going to choose the video quality that I want of my video. And then it is exporting it up here. By default, it will throw it in your download folder on your computer. You'll notice that. See how it pops up over here? It says, here's your uh, video. And then I can click on open file to actually open the video. My sound is muted, so let me turn this on so we can actually listen to my Next, video. Next, click, click. First, click the financial account tile. Next, click make payments on the left side. And there we go. We have successfully used Microsoft ClipChamp, and we have taken a video and added text-to-speech options uh, on top of that video. I hope the video helps. Thanks for watching.